Hey everyone, in today's Adobe Premiere video, I want to show you how to add a music track, a background music track to your Adobe Premiere project. So right now I went ahead and I just added some simple shots here from just one of the YouTube videos that I created here. And as you could see, the footage is on V1, on video track one, that's all your footage here. And on A1, that's your audio track one, there is some voiceover. That's what these green clips are. These are just voiceover I recorded to demonstrate how to use this watch. And we have audio track two and audio track three. But I wanted to show you how to add music when there is no other voiceover. So here you could see audio track one has nothing. So it's just video here. I'll show you how to add music, background music to that if you don't have any voiceover. Or if you're on camera and you have voice along your video like you see over here, I'll show you how to fade the music there too so it works well with audio. So first things first, I need to bring in my music that I have. So I'll go over here to my finder. I'm on a Mac here, but on a PC it's the same. Basically you want your audio file. It could be MP3 or WAV file like I have here. And I got this from a subscription website. So I actually have the rights to use this on YouTube and not get any copyright or use it on a commercial for a client, for example. So I'm going to link to that website below so you could actually get music that you have rights to use for commercial or YouTube. So I went ahead and I signed up there and I got this track here after listening to a few tracks. And in order to bring this to my Premiere project, I could simply just drag and bring it to this project file right here and drop it. And as you can see, it appeared right here. So now if I go back to Premiere, I have that song right here. And I usually make a folder called music so it's a little bit more organized, but I won't move it in this case. I'll just have it here. Two ways to bring it to your timeline, which is to the right here. Option one is just to click and drag it onto any one of these audio tracks. So I have three different audio tracks. I don't want to do it to A1 because my voiceover is there, but I could do it to A2 and I could drop it. And just like that, it's been added, but it's far too long. You could see if I scroll over, it's just way longer than my entire video in this case. But that's okay, I could simply cut that. I could just go ahead and choose the razor tool here or press C and come at the end of this timeline and just click right here and he made a cut for me. So now if I go to my selection tool again or the keyboard shortcut V, I could select this portion and I could press delete on my keyboard and now my music is exactly as long as my video file. The other way to bring it in is you could double click it and it will open up up here and you could simply press I for the in point and that will select where the music will start and then you could drag it and press O or out point and now you have I in point and O out point and now you could basically grab this little waveform right here audio only and drag it down to another timeline right here as you could see and at any time you could actually go ahead and stretch it out to be the same length as your actual video file or your video edit. In this case, I'm gonna delete this one, this whole track, I'll press delete. If you don't have multiple tracks here like I do, you could simply right click or control click and add a track. So if you select that, it's gonna bring up this box where basically I don't wanna add any video track, but I do wanna add one audio track after audio track three. So if I press okay, I didn't turn off the video track, but as you can see now I have a audio track four. So if I only had one and I wanted to create a second one, that's how you do that. And you could expand this so you could see the waveforms a little better. So you, you see if you go over to your track here, you could go ahead and drag it down and you could see your waveform a little bigger like I have on audio one. So again, this green one on track one is voiceover and the second one is music. So let me go back to the beginning of my timeline and I'll press spacebar to play. And I would have to just adjust it a little bit to make it edit better with the music. That's why I typically edit after I put the music down and then I add my video tracks second. When it comes to the audio portion, as soon as I start talking, look what happens. The music is too loud for the voiceover to be audible. So what you want to do is you want to lower the music. And the easiest way to do it, you see this line right here. When I go over it, you see how my mouse changes here. I could grab this and lower the audio. You see how it's lowering now? I could bring it all the way down to like negative 24. And it's going to be a lot lower now than it was before. And let me come over here and press play. 
It's gonna be a lot easier now to hear the voiceover compared to the music. But he also brought it down in the beginning where we had no voiceover, so we want that to be higher. So this might be a little too advanced, but let me show you how to do that. I'm just pressing plus here just to kind of expand my timeline to show you. But there is this pen tool right here. Select that and you could kind of come over here and put a couple of marks. So right before my voiceover starts on this track, I'm going to go to the music track and put one here. And then I'll go over here and put one here. So I have two points over here. Now I'm going to go back and choose my selection tool one more time. And I could grab one of these and bring it up. You see how it's changing the audio in the beginning? So now my audio is at basically at zero dB, exactly what it was before, when I have no voiceover, and then it fades down to negative 28 or so dB when I have voice. That's typically where I like it to have it, is around negative 28. So now if I go before, I start talking on our press space bar. You see nicely faded down, but I could still hear the music. So if I think I need more music, I could always just go ahead and drag this and bring it up. You could do the same things here in the audio panel as well. So up here you have an audio panel. If you select that, it's going to basically give you audio track one and audio track two. So you could basically bring this volume down on audio track two here or bring it down on audio track one. It's a little bit easier with the pen tool that I showed you how to make these dots to make these fades to kind of lower the music when voice over comes in. And let me go to the end of the timeline here. I just want to show you when you're at the end of the timeline and you want to fade your music, you could also use the pen tool. Again, the keyboard shortcut for it is P. So I could select P and I could put a dot here. And I could put another one towards the end here and I could go ahead and drag this one down all the way to zero. You see it's negative infinity here. So now it's gonna fade out. And then I could go ahead and do the same thing. I'll go and select my move tool again, my selection tool, and I'll press on the video and I'll go ahead and control click or right click and apply the default transition here, which is a cross dissolve. So now it's gonna fade to black nicely. So I know this was a little more beyond just adding music, but I wanted to show you these techniques because they do come in handy all the time because pretty much either you're gonna have no voiceover or no on camera dialogue here. So you need your music to be higher or you're gonna blend it with voiceover or on camera audio. So you do need to fade it down so they could both work together. I'll put more resources in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Premiere, and I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.